What's up everybody? Welcome back to the Collector's Outpost. I am John. Well, I was out in San Diego for like four or five days for some family stuff and I got a bunch of recommendations for comic slash toy stores. I did stop at two of them and this one I found over at TC's Rockets. And let me tell you, I'm so happy that recommendation came in because that place was absolutely awesome. Take a look real quick. Uh, this might be the greatest place on earth. Wembley's inside the rock. <laughs> oh boy. TC Rockets was a killer recommendation, and if you're in the San Diego area, do stop by if you're a collector because that place has so much stuff. So here we are. This is the 89 Batman from Beast Kingdom. It is a 1 9th scale, so that's got to be what, 8, 9 inches or something like that? It does look super cool, and Batman 89's costume and Batman Returns costume are probably my two favorite costumes. I've got one fourth scales, I've got one six scales, and uh, Hot Toys actually has a new 89 Batman coming out. I missed the first one, so I'm gonna get that one. But let's take a look at this one. All right, so here is everything out of the box. Um, you might notice that there is a wire in the cape. Um, however, it looks like this cape is, might be a little difficult to deal with. It doesn't really fall very well. There are two strong wires in the front, which is, which is very nice here. I think you're gonna be able to get a good pose out of it. You know, it likes flying in the, in the breeze pose. But you could see just like that, you're gonna to have to fiddle with it a lot to get that to just drape well. So I might actually have to replace this cape. Really depends on what I wind up doing with it. All right, so this comes with this uh, parts manual here. It shows you uh, the mouthpieces to swap out, some of the accessories here that it all comes with, uh, where the wires are and all that stuff. So take a look at this if you can. Definitely really no shortage of accessories here. We've got a whole bunch of things. So here we have eight extra sets of hands. It looks like we've got everything from Batarang type of hands and, and his grapple gun hands, all this kind of stuff here. So you're gonna have a great assortment here. Then we've got this cool piece, which actually opens up here. I'm gonna show you that. That is super nice. This is the, uh, the thing I believe he uh, glides across the room with uh, Vicky Vale in his arms. I don't know, should we call this like the zipline gun? I don't know. <laughs> I don't exactly know the name of this thing, but we'll just call it the zipline gun. So then they give us another cowl. Um, the eyes on here, I don't know if you could see it very well. I'll try to zoom in, but they're looking off to the right. I don't think I really needed this because it's so hard to see the eyes anyway. I almost would rather have this been hollowed out, no eyes and no little mouth plate there, and just have been, actually, I probably could do that myself, to tell you the truth. Um, but just having kind of like an extra cowl piece to sit in the background somewhere, that would have been pretty awesome. And again, I think I could just do it myself with a little Dremel drill. So this is the accessory pack that is underneath the main tray. So don't forget to pull out that main tray and look underneath. Um, this is the, if you remember that little scene where the guy's jumping him and he does like a fly kick and he puts his hand out and kind of gets him in the sack there. <laughs> Uh, we got his uh, beautiful little grappling gun and we've got a batarang here, which looks like it has some rope on it, I think. So yeah, there's, there's some rope on there. I guess this is to kind of simulate that opening scene in the movie where he kind of throws the batarang and kind of gets the guy around the ankle and pulls him in. It's pretty cool. So here is the second cowl. You can see his eyes are looking off to the right a little bit. And I'll show you what the other two mouth plates look like. Now, I don't think that nails Michael Keaton's look, but it's not bad. It, it does the job. I mean, this figure is only like, I don't know, eight inches tall, maybe. All right, here's the next one. I do wish one of these were kind of a little bloodied up. That would have been kind of cool. Like if this uh, cowl was a totally different cowl where it had a little bit of weathering and some blood on it and his face was kind of bashed up a little bit, like the end of the movie. That would have been great. Then they give us a nice Batman stand. It's uh, just plastic, nothing big. 
Simple and effective, it'll get the job done. It will keep the figure standing up and not fall over. So it's not one of those Hot Toys flight stands where it has like the gooseneck over here. Uh, this will turn this way, it will turn this way, and that's pretty much about it. You got up and down, I believe, yeah. I don't think they really nailed Michael Keaton's look, but that could simply have been maybe they couldn't get his likeness or, you know, could be a million things. So this is going to be one of those capes that's just going to be a pain in the butt to deal with. It's It just doesn't fall right. Um, it's kind of like a very, I don't want to say papery feel, but it, it is a pleathery, papery feel uh, that's not very easy to deal with. And it's not very heavy, so it doesn't drape very well. You can see it just kind of sticks up. Like you're going to really have to work this to get that to sit tight against the body. But it is cool that there are some wires, so you can kind of get his cape just kind of flowing in the wind there. That's really nice to have. All right, let's take a look under his cape. Uh, this looks... This actually looks like material on a body. Like, that's definitely material there. Yeah. It's like rubbery material. This might be a hard... I don't know, it's hard to tell. You can see here... Move the arms out of the way. This is definitely like a leathery material over a body. So this does have fabric. This does look like uh, a rubbery plastic piece over that. Yeah, so we can see that some of the, uh, the armor pieces are just lapped over the leather suit underneath. There's no visible joints or anything anywhere, which unfortunately, you know, like anything, I think over time, that's gonna take some abuse and I think that'll probably tear. Down over in the boots, we have a lot of articulation here, so you can get uh, some great poses. The front of the boot, look at that, that actually is split, so you can kind of maneuver that into a little running pose or whatever you want. So you've got a ton of articulation there in the boot. So whatever idiots actually put this together, do you see the problem here? They put the gauntlets on backwards. How stupid is that? All right, let me pull off the hands and uh, replace these the right way. All right, while I have the uh, head and the hands off, we've decapitated him, I just wanted to give you a quick look at just what all of the parts look like, all of the armor sitting on top of the body, the uh, leather suit, which you can see, the pleathery suit all over here, the back plate, it's like a hard plastic or hard rubber. This also looks like a, uh, a thigh plate, a full thigh plate. And it's cool, on the bottom there are treads and it looks like we do have a little bit of weathering around the sneakers. Uh, I think these were supposed to be Nikes or something, right? <laughs> Again, this is all pleather and I don't see any way of getting into the suit, God forbid, that uh, gets unhinged there. So I don't recommend doing much of anything to this figure, I really don't. Under here you might be able to see it looks like everything is just kind of glued down. So you won't be able to like get into, as far as I could see, get into the suit if let's say the arm joint pops off, which is kind of crappy. Now there is some decent articulation in the arms here. Articulation in the arms here. All right, so I've got the gauntlets back on correctly since they were installed wrong. Um, but like I was just saying, what do you do now if the arm pops off? I can't get into the suit now. I don't know if it's broken. I don't know if the joint just popped out. Um, I'm gonna have to get in touch with, I guess, the company and try to see what to do there, because I don't know. And one other thing I don't like very much is the fact that the logo here on the cowl doesn't sit on this chest. It actually sits, it's kind of standing out a little bit, if you can see that. He has a pretty big gap between his chest and the actual logo. It's kind of crappy. Um, you might be able to fix that too, just by heating it up and kind of pushing it down, but yep, that's it. That is the Batman Beast Kingdom figure. All right, that is about it. You can see it's pretty awesome with the cape flying in the wind there. The wires work really great. Now, I thought that there were more wires down the back of the cape. There doesn't seem to be any extra wires back there. 
Now, obviously, because the arm just broke and I don't see any option of getting into the body to fix it, to glue it, to change the joint out or anything, there didn't look like there were any extra joint parts that I can put in there. Um, I honestly can't recommend this figure even though I think it's pretty cool. And if it didn't break on this video, I would say, hey, if you're a Batman 89 fan, definitely pick something like this up because it's really cool. All right, so that is about it for this Batman 89 figure from Beast Kingdom. Um, you'll see in just a second, the cape looks really cool flying in the wind with the wire work there. So I will be reaching out to Beast Kingdom about that to see maybe I can get a replacement part or maybe there is a way to get into the body to put a joint piece back in there or something or hey, maybe they'll just replace it for me. I don't know. It might be a complete loss, but if I just leave it in this pose like this, it's actually not that bad. It covers up that arm. I get a really cool dynamic kind of standing pose and it will work on the shelf. All right, that is about it for this video. Sorry, it went downhill real fast. It started off pretty positive and then it went down with a broken elbow and it, it just went, it all went to hell. But anyway, I hope you at least enjoyed the video. Please drop down, hit that like button, leave some comments, subscribe, and hit that notification button for upcoming videos. I've got more figures, I've got six scales, and I got lightsabers coming left and right. Thank you all so much and I will see you all in the next video. Be safe and kind out there in the world. See ya.